Hi guys, JP from FSI Panel. Welcome to this quick tutorial. I'm going to show you how you can fly quick approaches using this beautiful Leonardo MD82 just released on MSFS 2024. I flew a couple of approach. She fly perfectly well. So let me show you how you can be very quickly airborne flying your first approaches using FSI Panel 2024 Advanced Edition for this aircraft. So I'm going to click Ready to Fly. I'm in Milano Malpensa on runway 35 left and as always one thing you want to make sure that you have your engines running that's the case my RRS are aligned the altimeter setting whatever you don't need to touch anything FSI panel will do it for you and what you could do if you want is update your aircraft weight so to do that you could take the uh, load manager then change the weight as desired and synchronize it with the aircraft. I'm just going to keep the actual weight, the default weight here, which is around 50.9 tons, uh, zero fuel weight plus seven tons of fuel, which is giving us, as we can see here, around 58 tons. All right, so we are ready. One thing you want to do before you start FSI panel is always look in your toolbar and click on the FSI panel icon and there you will have the message connecting. Now you can go ahead and start FSI panel. So let me start FSI panel. All right, here we go. Once FSI panel is started, the first thing you want to do is make sure the mad dog is detected. That's the case right there. We have the mad dog MD82. We are in Malpensa on runway 35 left. If you want to change the runway, feel free to select any runway. And now for the first example, I want to show you how you could fly a simple right hand vectors for the ILS runway 35 left. So I click on right hand vectors and then I have a summary right there. So the aircraft should be configured for an ILS runway 35 left at eight nautical miles final and the altitude should be 3,100 feet. Good, we are ready to go. So I'm going to click move aircraft and we will see what happened in the aircraft. So here we are in the simulator. Now we can see the flaps moving to 15 and we should always follow whatever FSI panel is telling you to do. So right now FSI panel is waiting for us to release the parking brake. So I'm going to do that right now. And then I will get the message that everything is ready. Set your power lever to at least 50%. So I'm going to move my thrust levers forward and then the aircraft will go in the air. Now we are in the air, you can see the gears going up and at this time do not touch anything in your cockpit, just white. Wait, watch the show and do not touch anything. You can see that we are going down toward 3,100 feet. We are on an intercept heading around 30 degrees for the ILS runway 35 left. And we are approaching 3,100. Now the aircraft will stabilize and then we will get the control. So for that phase, it's very important that you do not touch anything and you just wait for FSI panel to give you the control. So that could take 20, 20 to 30 seconds and you will be given the control. It's a bit windy here. So that's why it's taking some time to reach the correct altitude. And now it's ready, as you can see on the top left corner, aircraft ready, hold your brake for three seconds to take control. Okay, so if we look in our cockpit, we have all the lights set as required. We have our FCU set as required. Now you could program your uh, MCDU, your FMC if you want. If you just want to fly the ILS, you don't need to. So at this stage, the aircraft is in a position freeze. So you are free to do anything you want on your cockpit, change the nav setting if required, do whatever you want. And when you're ready, you hold your brake for three seconds. So I'm going to do that right now. One, two, and three seconds. And I get the message, you have control. And now I just need basically to arm the approach. And as you can see, land is arm. We have the localizer and we should be on glide slope at around eight nautical miles. This is what we programmed in FSI panel. So let's have a look at the localizer intercept and then we will try a long final. If you don't even want to be uh, in uh, vectors, you can fly directly onto final. So right now, as you can see, we are with gear up and flaps 15 intermediate configuration to intercept the localizer and to fly an approach. So that's a perfect uh, situation to train slowing down the aircraft and to get used to a different configuration. Uh, rather than going directly on final. If you want to practice your landing, of course, you can go on final several times in a row and then practice uh, your landing. 
Okay, so we should see now the localizer moving very soon. So if we look outside a little bit, what do we see? We should see Milano Malpensa right there and the aircraft is going to intercept the localizer. We can see glide slope is alive. Localizer is alive. Localizer is captured. And we are about eight miles once the glide slope will be captured. And glide slope is alive there. I'm going to follow with my heading bug. And as you can see now, we should have glide slope any second. And then you can fly your approach. Runway is in front of us. We're on 35 left. ILS, perfect. All right, let's bring the aircraft down and I will show you uh, how to fly uh, directly on final. So here we are, local as our glide slope, everything stable and I'm flying my approach. I'm going now to bring the aircraft on ground and I show you directly on final. All right, just reloaded, the exact same thing. I just push restart, ready to fly. I'm on my runway, I just check again that I have engines running, IRS align, that's fine. And I make sure that my window is open FSI panel message connected as I didn't close FSI panel and now I'm going to show you the short final let's make a long final so we have time to to do something else okay so here we go I'm going to go long final this time we should be again at 3100 eight miles on the long final for runway 35 left I click move aircraft and this time what we will see is the flaps moving to flaps 28 once the flaps are set FSI panel will continue with its setup. So now everything is ready. Release your parking brake. I'm doing it right now. And now set per lever to at least 50%. Let's do that. And we should go in the air. Here we go. Now I don't touch anything. I don't touch my trust lever anymore. The auto throttle is on and FSI panel will do everything for you. So 3,100 altitude. As you can see, we are on a long final. We should be around eight miles and you can see that right there. And we are going down to 3,100 feet. Once the aircraft is stable, then again, you will have the time to set everything you need and then take control whenever you want to fly the airplane. 3,100. Now you look on the top left of your screen and you will get the message aircraft ready or your brake for three seconds to take control. When I hold my when my when sorry when I hold my brake, I will disconnect the auto brake, but FSI panel will re-engage it. So let's see that happening. I'm holding my brake. Auto brake is disarm. I get the control. I arm the approach, and FSI panel has re-engaged the auto brake. And here we go. Land localizer glass slope captured. We are at 3,000 feet. Let me show you something with FSI panel now. I'm going to bring it again into view. And this aircraft, you have an extensive failure panel on FSI panel. So you could go ahead and let's say would like to fail the ILS navigation. And I want to fail the, uh, uh, let's, let's bring, what could we fail something on the electrical? The right generator failure. And right now we are at 2,000. 200 feet AGL, let's fail it at 1,000 feet AGL. So 1,000, click minus, okay, and check what is the trigger, trigger when the aircraft descend through 1,000 feet, that's what I want. Arm, and you can see that the right generator fail is arm now, whenever the aircraft goes below 1,000 feet AGL. So let's go back in our aircraft, and let's see if this is the case. So we are going down nicely and we will have our radio altimeter and by 1000 feet radio altimeter that we can see right there, we should have a generator right failure. So you can play with a lot of failure trigger on this aircraft. She is compatible with the full list of failure provided by Leonardo. Very nice. And you can even on ground activate some MEL items if you want using FSI panel. So that's as well something very nice. Good, so we are approaching slowly or 1,000 feet. Runway is in front, so we will continue the approach and we will see what happened to our generator.
1,000 feet, master caution, and we have right generator off. It worked as expected. Good, so on way inside, we have one generator, we are fully visual, so in that case, I will just continue for the landing. All right, guys, let's try to do this landing, and let's see how we can manage this aircraft here. And I haven't flown this aircraft for a long time, so let's give it a try. Slightly high, speed is high. So we're gonna get a very bad landing report because of the speed. So we're gonna be unstabilized probably, two and two. Back on profile, speed is getting okay now. Slightly high. I keep my rate of descent. And here she goes. Touchdown. Keep center line and applying a little bit of break. Long runway here in Milano, so no problem. So I'm going to stop on the runway and I will show you here the after landing and that will be the end of our video. Good, so let's stop the aircraft right there. And we're gonna see what happened. What is the uh, landing report for this particular landing? I think I was a bit high at some time, fast, and um, quite long, around 700 meters, I will say. So let's have a look. Let's stop the aircraft. Let's put the parking brake. Here we go, and let's have a look at FSI panel. The first thing you will see is a summary. Right there, we can see that my landing distance, as expected, is a bit long, but the rate of descent is very nice. The pitch was okay, and the bank was good, and we passed the threshold a little bit high. We should be at 50 feet. As for the speed, not too bad. Five knots faster at 500 feet. If I click on full landing report, then I'm getting the uh, full report of this, air of this approach. You can see that localizer deviation was not bad. The glide slope deviation was not bad. When I took it manually, we can see that I went a little bit up. We can see that the highest deviation was 0.1 dots, uh, 1.1 dots sorry, above at 0.9 nautical miles, so right there. This is what we can see from here. And the maximum rate of descent, of course, is probably at the same place when I wanted to go down. Then we can see that the airspeed was not too bad, stabilized. We disconnected at 530 feet, the autopilot. And just within limit on center line, smooth landing. So not too bad, I will save it for my record. And that's about it. If you go to failures, then this is what I want to show you, the MEL items. So you need to be on ground, obviously, to do that. So you click on MEL items, and now you can put any of this item on MEL. So let's say, for example, we'd like to have the APU generator on MEL. So click on APU generator, fail now. Now let's have a look in the cockpit of our Leonardo aircraft. And uh, we should see on the APU uh, bus that it is not available so here we can see inop incredible let's try something else let me bring here the overhead panel and should we try should we try to put um, a pack we could try to put a pack on a meal okay let's let's have a look at the pack so let's go back in fsi panel and here again, failure, and this time we want to go on the um, pack we said. So that's going to be, uh, let me think about it, this is uh, air conditioning. Let's put the right pack on MEL, fail now. Bing. It works. So basically, this is something you can do with this Leonardo. You could basically start your flight then start FSI panel, put something on MEL, and then it won't work. So basically, if you uh, try to put the APU generator on the bus here, it's not going to work. So that's very nice. You can basically um, basically uh, do some, some MEL items before starting your flight. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, this uh, short video. If you have any question or comment, drop it in the section down below. Please subscribe to the channel, and i see you very soon for another 
training video. Bye-bye.